Okay, we'll go back in here in the room. Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Burton, University of Nebraska Lincoln. I, Lakeisha, you talked. And we together have a front row seat to history. We're returning to the moon after over 50 years uh, during the Apollo program, the Apollo era. And to do the proximity demonstration. So, Jeff. All right. Thanks, Judd. So let's see, at this point, we are going back to the moon to establish a sustained presence on the moon. We want to demonstrate uh, long-term capability on the surface of the moon. We are going to continue to add capabilities on the surface of the moon. Um, we are going with, uh, with uh, commercial and, and uh, international like-minded uh, partners. Um, and we are demonstrating those capabilities so that we can go on to the next destination. We've got our eyes set further, deeper into space, onto Mars, and being able to show that we can establish a presence on Mars and further destinations. During the wet dress rehearsal, if there's another hydrogen leak, would that be a potential show? Yeah, I mean, one of my favorite book series was uh, the Laura Ingalls Wilder series, the Little House series, right, where... Um, they were explorers themselves, right? And they were trying to figure out how to live off of the land. And very similarly, um, we are working with a team of pioneers. And ultimately, when we get to the surface of the moon, there will be very similar exploration going on. And the crew there on the surface of the moon will be trying to figure out how to live off the land how to live off and utilize the regolith to build structure and to uh, pull water from water ice and to be able to, to distill that down to, to fuel that's needed. And it from the phone from Christopher Mick of Hudson Star Observer. The agency has made a commitment uh, to launch no later than April of 26, and we intend to keep that commitment. We're also, though, working to accelerate um, as much as we can in terms of the preparations and the operations pr pr preparation uh, to potentially as early as February. I, I feel like we have a front seat uh, to a history making. Well, at least uh, amongst the flight directors here, uh, none of us were born during Apollo. And so this is our opportunity to inspire a generation of, of kids um, to get uh, involved in, in future space exploration. And maybe one of those kids who was inspired by what we do on Artemis II becomes uh, that person who sets the, the, the first uh, footprints on the surface of Mars. And so it's, a, it's an honor to be a part of the flight director team uh, leading the flight control team. I think that's a great way to end. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today. Thank you for joining us.